What is up, you beautiful people? Stone here, and today we are back in our Pokemon Violet Nuzlocke playthrough. If you want to know what Nuzlocke rules I'm playing with, you gotta go down there right into the description and check them out while you're down there. Do all this hell out stuff. Do the likes, the comments, the subscribes, even the bells. Ding-a-ding-a-ding -a -ding -a -ding the hell out of that bells. And I would muchly appreciate it, so thank you, thank you, thank you. And today is a monumentous day. We are fighting our first Titan, finally, on part 23. Are they going to tell us why, or is Arvin going to show up when I fight this thing, or like after I defeat it, if I defeat it, and the whole run doesn't just end right now? Hopefully it doesn't. Uh, we are leading with, I, I was thinking either Vegeta or Corvus. Because they both, he could turn into a fighting type, Corvus could turn into a steel type. Um, Wait, is it steel type? Wait a second. I actually think you have a flying type. You're a flying type, Terra. Oh yeah, so I guess we will go with Vegeta. Hopefully we don't get taken out if uh, I go for close combat, though. Hopefully this thing is only level 16. I am very nervous. Arvin, are you going to show up and hold my hand or anything or say something? Hello? Oh, that is creepy. How do your eyeballs do that? Move all around and still stay connected to those freaking tubes. What the hell? Okay, we doing this. They don't even tell you what the level is. Cloth the Stony Cliff Giant. Well, I guess if we're doing it, we're doing it. So, we're terastalizing. Does it also get to terastalize? Can we catch it? Cloth, yeah. The Stony Cliff Giant. Damn, this guy, he's got a title. But we've got the title belt. Because we're the best fighting Pokemon ever. Primeape. Get close combated. Is it going to work? Let's see how fast this HP goes down. And... Oh, it still didn't even take him out in one shot. What is that all about? Wait, is it... It ran away? Find the Stony Cliff Titan. But now I don't have my terastalization. I need to go to the Pokemon Center first. Wait a second. Now he's down here? If I just went down the path, I would have found him. But I flew away to go to the Pokemon Center. What are you doing around here, my boy? Are you guarding that rock? That rock looks suspicious, like it's gonna move. Hello? Did I already beat you up? Are you gonna move this for me? Oh, he breaks it for me. So you never actually knock out the, the titans? What is going on? The titan cloth began eating something. Oh boy, what the hell is that? Is that the ingredients that he's trying to find? Stone, you found it! And that thing's the Stony Cliff Titan. No cloth has got any business being that big. Is it gonna be even stronger now after eating those herbs? Oh no, I bet it is. Let's watch ourselves, Stone. He is here to hold my hand. Thank you, Arvin. I needed your support. Mental support, even if you're not physical support. Oh my goodness. Are you Terrasal? No, he's freaking... He's powered up, though. I'm not going to use my terrestrialization this time. We're just going for the... Oh, wait. He's got a shelter? Well, this is looking a little rough shelter. Let's serve up a helping of defeat on the half shell. Dang, okay. That's cool, though, that he helps us. Well, okay. Bye-bye. We knocked you out one. Oh, we also got a crit? Dude, Vegeta, you didn't have to do him so dirty. At least let the guy play a little bit. I guess not, though. That animation, though, dude, they did him justice. Oh, down he falls. I defeated the Titan Cloth. Arvin, let's go. Your shoulder did nothing, but it's cool that he fights with us too. So is he going to fight us at everyone? That's nice. At least you get a little bit of help with you to divert some attacks. All right, look at my little buddy coming through like a champ. Yeah, your shoulder was nice. But these Titan Pokemon are yeesh. I sure don't like having something so tough out to get me. They're not out to get you. You're out to get them because you want their stuff that they're protecting. The food that he was eating. I bet somewhere in here there's more of that uh, Herba Mystica the Titan was eating. Quick, let's have a look around before it comes back. It looked like it shrank out of existence to me and went to the quantum realm. He ain't going to be back until after the snap. And then he's going to be one of the people that survived. Watch your step. It's pretty dark. Is it though? What's that Pokeball there? Is that it's Pokeball? No way! You just ran right past it. Oh, there's the Herba Mystica, I think. Hey, and there's more of this grass that was in the, the one cave that the... Who saved us? Yeah, Maridon saved us from. Is this one of the Herba Mystica? It's exactly how it looked in the book. 
Pink and glowing, just like that. And sparkly, sweet Herba Mystica. Oh, so there's different flavors of Herba Mystica, I guess. Yes! We actually found one! And it's all thanks to you, Stone! Now then, let's see, what does the book have to say? It says here that the sweet Herba Mystica is good for gut health and that it helps aid digestion. It says it's great for stomach aches too or when you want to stimulate the whole appetite. Hmm, thoughts. Now if I can just get him to eat some... Get who to eat some? Alright, now it's my turn to show off what I can do. You're about to get a taste of my cooking. We're gonna have a little picnic in this cave? Or outside? Yeah! Oh yeah! Watch ya! Yeah! Here you go! An Arvin original sandwich packed full of herbs. And I'll even give you a badge, you know, as a thank you for taking on that Titan Pokemon. I call it a Titan badge. Made it myself using a replica of the gym badges, see? That's pretty cool. What do they look like? They all have their own theme, it seems. They do look more like the gym badges, though. That's pretty cool. Rock type. And what I just noticed is, so is there a badge in this game for each type of Pokemon? That is pretty freaking sweet. I like that. Um, oh, Agaia. What's up, Agaius? How you doing? Ugh, what's up with that thing? It just comes out of its ball on its own whenever it wants? Kinda, yeah. I like it. It's got character. Oh, it wants my sandwich. Hey, now, no, that's not for you. Uh, oh, man. Do you want to give your sandwich to Rhydon? Here you go, buddy. I don't need it. He wants it. Chomp, chomp, snarf, chomp. Hey, I went through all the trouble of making that for you and you just give it away? But he wanted it more than I did. I hope you realize that's all there was, so now there's none left for you. That's totally fine. Aw, oh, man, come on. Now you're making me feel like I'm the selfish jerk here. You kind of are. What's your problem with Agaius? Here, you can have half of mine, but you'd better save her every last bite. Gaia, Gaia. Huh? You already ate that whole thing? Do you want this half? Whoa, what is it doing? Hey, it's stimulating him. Maridon will be able to dash now? What? Hey, is it me or has this thing sort of powered up somehow? A Gaia. Is it going to visually look different? Whoa, I can't believe it. The power of these herbs really is worth guarding. Makes them stronger. If they had that big an effect on your Pokemon, then I bet... You bet what? Ugh. I bet it'll, it'll come in super handy for that treasure hunt assignment we've got. Yep, that's what I bet. Well, you've both filled your bellies with some of my legendary sandwiches. Guess it's time to tidy everything up. You even brought a tablecloth and everything? Oh, don't you worry about helping. After battling the Titan, you've earned a break. Just leave all this to me, though it'd be much obliged if you'd get a start on searching out the remaining four Herba Mystica for us. And I know just where to go next. As we're doing a whole Titan episode today. It's gonna be a Titan-tastic part. Oh, but I want to know what that ball is on the ground. I really owe you. Who? Huh? Who's the other person he was talking about to that he's trying to- Seems like he's trying to help somebody. Recover. Okay, the coast is clear. Oh, You can come out now. Are we gonna hear the cry? I heard I heard a Pokemon come out. But no cry. Aw oh, man. But I wanna go back in the cave and then I'm gonna see what Pokemon he threw out, or maybe nah. Rotototo? Who's Rotototoing me? Hey, and I got a purple phone case. Hello, Stone, this is Turo. I detect that Maridon has regained some of its original power. It seems it will now be able to dash at high speeds while you're riding upon it. Now you can have a ride on Dash Ahead by pressing the left stick, but watch out for trees when dashing at high speeds. If you strike a tree while dashing, Pokemon lurking up, up, up among the branches will fall down, allowing you to battle them. Oh, does that mean I can get encounters in towns? I hope you will continue to explore Paldea with Maridon as you have done here. Your route is not fixed, but open before you. Seek out your own path using your map and the tools you have at hand. Whenever you find your curiosity peaked, you should go and explore as your heart desires. All that you experience will help you grow in some way, great or small. Go forth on your journey and take care of a Maridon for me. 
Yeah, we can dash zippy zoop all over wherever we want. I which which stick do I gotta push in? The left stick? Oh I can. Wait, do I have to hold it? What's what's on with this? Are we already dashing? Is there just like one speed? Wait. No, that zoomies. Oh. Wait, let me try this again. Okay, so this is the speed. And then Okay, so you just click it and now you're in dash mode. Okay. Woo! Oh, it turn this turns so good. Whoops. We're running through a rookie D. Get out of here, rookie D. I want to see what's in the cave. What the frick? Fake ass cave? We can't even go in here now? Oh my goodness. But there was a Pokeball on the ground. Is it because he's in there doing story? There's. Or was that a glitch? Was that Pokeball not supposed to be there? Oh man. Well, on to the next one. Here we are. We gotta dodge these boulders and get up to that Pokemon. How are we gonna be able to fight it though? I can't fly. And you'd think we'd be able to get the fly from this Pokemon, but I think what would be more cool is to get the rock climbing, uh, whatever ability. We're going up. We're, we're going to continue to go up. I've never been up this high. I went over to that place on the left, but now, whoosh, these look like giant Cocoa Pebbles. Whoa there, buckos. Or Bucky, or whatever you are. Don't drop it on top of my head. That would be cheating. Are we here now? We got all the way up, so... It's the thing now, we beat it up once, it runs away, breaks a thing, breaks a rock or breaks something, gets into the Herba Mystica, eats it, and then we have to fight it again. That's disturbing. Is that part of your body? You just have a chest flap? Oh, stork. And it's segmented? Open Sky Titan, Bombardier. Okay, let's see how much this does. Oh, it looks like it one shot you. You're running away. Get out of here. Oh, it's like right next door where it's breaking into. And then, there you, there you go. We're doing it. I've also never fought this Pokemon before, so that's nice. We're learning as we're going also. The Titan Bombardier, Bombardier began eating upon something. Are you going to still have a shelter or something else? Stone, you managed to get to the Titan somehow, huh? I mean, you got it up here too. Oh, wait, but it wasn't dropping boulders anymore, so that makes sense. So that's the Open Sky Titan. Wait, is this Titan what's been dropping all those boulders? I was lucky enough to be able to sneak up here because it had all its attention on you, little bud. It looks like it's trying to power itself up, like with some kind of mystical meal power or something. So we'd better be ready to go all out. Oh, I am ready. We're ready with Lumen out front. I still don't like how creepy this thing is with its freaking neck flap. Whoa! That's a lot of green power you got going on there, buddy. You got a Knackley now? He's level 19 only? And you're supposed to be helping me out? Get thunderbolted upon. Trying to drop rocks on folks is dangerous. Let's give this thing a good taste of defeat. Aw, oh, yeah, we will. Let's see about it. The last time, yep, yep, we get one shot. Okay, well, at least now I know that we can fight these things. Basically... As we progress, like, I could have had the ability to dash and whatever this one thing does a while ago. Look at you, he's so happy. Titan Bombardier is over, done with. Finito. Finito, finito, finito. Okay. Now, what's the, what kind of plot are we going to go through? Are we going to see the Pokemon that you talked to last time, this time, finally? Yes. Way to go, Stone. Looks like we don't have to worry about any more boulders falling on us now, huh? Okay, I mean, I don't, uh, that part's irrelevant to me. I already knew that. I, I just want to see what's in this here cave. There has to be more of that Herba Mystica it ate in here. Let's hurry and find it before the Titan can come back for another go at us. Will they actually come back? That would be kind of cool. You can actually catch one. That would be that size. Crazy. A crazy. If we're lucky, there'll be another herb here. And looks like there's another rock table perfectly formed. And there's no Pokeball in the middle of this floor. Maybe that was just a glitch. I knew it. Is it here? It has to be here. Oh, yep. This one's actually green. It matches. It's not pink. Hello, green powers. What are you all about? It really is here. This is one of the herbs. Make no mistake. Oh, uh, yeah. Tell me what it does in your book there. Bitter Herba Mystica. So we had sweet and bitter. And now we have whatever else. Are they all going to be like the flavors of like Poffin or uh, what were those other things? Pokeblocks? Woohoo, we did it! Thanks, Stone! 
Now then, let's see, what does the book have to say? Bitter Herba Mystic is great for your circulation. It really gets the blood flowing, and that warms you right up nice and toasty, even boosting the immune system. Or so it says. Are you going to make a little comment that has to do with not us? If I can just slip this into a tasty sandwich and get him to eat some. You did. Who is the he you're talking about? Well, what are we waiting for, Stoneman? It's time to dig in. Let me whip something up for us. You mean me and a Gaius? Huh? You're... Uh, yeah. Oh, whatcha? What kind of... You karate fight in the freaking sandwich? And Bob's your uncle. Here you go, my special whimsical herb-filled super sandwich. And it comes with a side of Titan badge as a token of my gratitude, course. Guys, we get another badge. Oh, it's all... Oh, wait, that does not look... It looks like it's spoiled. Uh... I don't want it. I don't want it no more. Okay there, bud. What? Oh, here you go, Agaius. Eat it up. Oh, come on, you again? Why do you not like him so much? Calm down, man. It makes me want to give him the sandwich even more. Do you want to give your sandwich to Maridon? I would. I wish there was an option. I was just like, of course I would. Or is there really an option? Gaius. Huh. Is it trying to say thanks or something? Well, good thing I made extra. You're helping me out a whole bunch with the hard stuff, so it's only fair that you get more. I definitely absolutely did not make extra so that Maridon could have a sandwich, okay? Sure. Chomp chomp snarf chomp. He loves snarfing and a chomping. Oh, the animations! He's getting all crazy. It starts in his neck. We'll be able to move across the water now. Water power! I don't... Why, why didn't you switch the Pokemon around if you wanted them to do... Why can't I fought a water thing and it made me water abilities? Or the, the bird makes me fly. The dig dude makes me faster somehow because it's land. The, the dude who's climbing on the rock wall lets me know how to climb. Like, this doesn't make any freaking sense. I'm pissed. Did it grow stronger again? A Gaia. Man, these Herba Mystica really do pack a punch, don't they? I mean, they'd better, or else I'm really up the creek. Uh-oh, are you eating the other extra sandwiches? You take your... Oh, no. Don't you dare touch that! That isn't for you! Agaya. He is so angry. He's the angriest I've ever seen anybody in this game. Oh, uh, sorry. I shouldn't have shouted like that. I guess I should at least tell you the full story, Stone. Yeah, stop being shady. Come on out, bud. What is it? Oh, that's cool. This is my boss, Diff. My partner. Agaya. Oh, man. You look so sad. Don't be sad. Is he sick? Here you go, bud. Eat up. This sandwich should help you feel better. Slowly now. Take your time. Small bites are fine, just chew nice and slow. Is he gonna work? Is he gonna do anything? My buddy here was hurt pretty bad a while ago, real bad in fact. He never really recovered. Potions and things don't work? Have you tried a Pokemon Center? I'm just gonna ask this. Nothing seems to help, not potions, not Pokemon Centers, nothing. My boss stiff here is the only thing in the world, I care about the only thing. So I promised that I'd make him better, whatever it takes. You don't care about your other Pokemon? That's rude. I searched online, I've read books, I looked all over and tried every cure and remedy I could find. But nothing really worked. I'd almost given up hope. That's when I found out about the Herba Mystica. The book, what is it? You've done your research. I'm just gonna congratulate him. Yeah, see, I found this book in my dad's lab. Whoa, that looks cool. Gibble and Eevee, some like snake oil salesman in the background. Area Zero was home to wondrous herbs that instantly impart vigor when eaten. We dubbed them Herba Mystica and attempted to grow some in areas around Paldea. However, before we could harvest, the herbs were eaten by Pokemon, which in turn grew large and strong. We call these Titan Pokemon. So can you just make any Pokemon a Titan Pokemon by feeding some of this? Because that's shack. It's this book's full of... Wait, 
It's this book full of crazy stories and legends and things and stuff nobody's usually believe. But I believe it. I think what it says is true. I mean, obviously, there's big Pokemon out there. And according to this book, eating all five Herba Mystica can cure anything that ails you. And case in point, my boss stiff's paws were cold as ice before he ate that last herb, but they're warmed up a little now. I'm sure they have. What did you find? Oh, you done eating, bud? Is he gonna show a little bit? Oh, is he actually gonna try to stand? Oh, he's get Oh, his, like, color's coming back in his eyes. That's cool. Hey, hey! Well, Bostiff, can can you see? Are your eyes open? Yes, you did it! Oh, I thought his eyes were already open. <laughs> it's It's been so long since he was able to open his eyes. I was so worried. Oh, oh man, I, I'm so, I'm so glad. Oh, they're, are they closed again? No, they open. Uh, oh, man. Uh, 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 look at him. Those fiery orange little eyes, hard to even tell if they're open or not, but I know the difference. Oh. The power of these herbs is amazing! I knew the book wasn't lying! I'm gonna try- I'm gonna bring my boss stiff back to full health, I swear it! Oh, uh, yeah, so that's my story. Three herbs to go, let's find them together. Agaya, Agaya! We're getting another Rototototo! Isn't it? Is it going to be the professor? It is. Hello, Stone. This is Turo. I detect that Maridon has regained more of its original power. While riding upon it, it seems you should now be able to move across water. Wow. So unique. I am relying on you to continue taking good care of Maridon. And just like that, he's gone. Goodbye. Oh, that was interesting. Can we go back into this cave or is that a nada? That is a nada. I am upsetty. Can we take on another titan? Is Can we take it on over there? Can we just jump right over to it? I think we can just like move right on over to there because I don't think I've been in these sections yet. Whoa, what are, don't fall on. Th oh, that's a terastalized poke. Is that the bug guy? Yeah, the one that evolves from the little the little bug dude, the little nymph. Nimble? Stimble? Nimble? I think his name is Nimble. Yeah, there we go. Maybe that's why I keep wanting to say nymph because it starts with an N. Okay, go, go, don't run into me. We're gonna jump all the way down this mountain! I wish I knew how to fly! Boom! Wait, brand spanking new? I never fought this lady. Oh well. We're not here for fighting people, we're here for fighting Pokemon. And there's our next target. Target locked. Hopefully we're gonna be able to do this. Are you ground or steel? It says, uh-oh, we're fighting a Floet. Now, get away from me, I wanna check what type it is. It is the ground type, still, just like regular Dawn fan. So, water, grass, ice. Hey, eh? we don't have water, grass, or ice. What's in our boxes? You got any water, grass, or ices in here? We got Fearmonger, but he's poison and grass. That's poison and normal. We got nine. Nine is an ice type. Should we train up nine a little bit? Kathleen, we got steel type. You're not you wouldn't be good against it. We got two steel types. Yeah, what is your wait, I can check your stats. Yeah, you're a ground grass. Do we go fear monger or nine? I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure out. Oh, we get to see him. I'm choosing him because ground or grass resists ground. So if you use the ground type move on him while we're fighting him, we should be fine, hunky dory, if we don't just one shot him in anyway. Wait. Whoa! I'm glad I caught you! You went from creepy to being... I actually really like this design! I think I like it over regular tentacruel! These colors! This is looking good! Toad's Cruel, I was right on the name! It coils its ten tentacles around prey and sucks out their nutrients, causing the prey pain. The folds along the rim of its head are a popular deli uh, delicacy. Just the folds, it's flaps. Oh no, people being eating the flaps. Not again. Well, yeah, that's pretty cool. It's very different. I like. What What moves do you have though? I think, do we want to train you up a little bit more? Yeah, probably. We'll get some moves on you. I'll be right back again, again. 
Dupa Speed, we're rolling up on you, Don Fan. Come over here. Where you at? Get over here. Let me catch you. Not catch you, but catch you all. What the hell? You don't even really have a face. You are totally mechanical. You definitely have to be ground steel. Like, what the hell's up with this? What is it doing? Arvin? Are you gonna be here? Oh, we're Don Fa. Dude, he's totally like a robot now. Roto Toto. Hello, Stone. This is Professor Turo. Iron Treads is a Pokemon that came from the Great Crater of Paldea. I ask that you do whatever is needed to subdue it for me, with all due caution, of course. So this thing's not a Titan? Iron Treads, the Quaking Earth Pokemon. Ow. So is it not a Pokemon? Can I put you to sleep? Should I just he seed bomb you? I don't know what really to do. I gave him the leftovers, too. He's level 40. Knock off? Oh, no, he knocked off my left Oh, wait. He did it? Wait a second. Why did that do such little damage? And he didn't lock knock off my leftovers. What is going on? Can I mud shot you? Rapid spin. Uh-oh. He's speeding up now. But I'm slowing him back down. Is this gonna is this gonna do super effective damage? Oh it do be, and that do be doing a lot. He fell. Your speed fell there, guy. Got more health. I can't land another I mean I can't live another knockoff though, so we're gonna have to go to bag. I'm gonna have to hype here potion because I want to have full health. He might just hit me with another um, rapid spin though, but from that range, I think he's gonna want to knock. Oh, he has iron head. That did way too much damage. So wait, he's got iron head, knock off. So it's a dark and a steel type move. I think I might be able to go to Corvus. Plus, if he hits me with this physical move. He's going to hurt himself with the Rocky Helmet. Damn, what level is this guy? Alright, just not hitting you in the right ways. You look whack. I mean, he's cool, but like the fact that you have no, like, he has like a robot face and tusks. Like, there's no other protrusions. And your trunk is now like, just this, like he said, iron treads. It's pretty different there, my boy. But uh, now the fact remains, what do we do? Do I just thief you and you hit yourself due to the um, freaking Rocky helmet? Oh, dude, that actually did a lot of damage. Flinched and couldn't move. Come on now. And why do you disappear when you use Iron Head? Okay, he's speeding up, but you hit me physically, so you're also hurting yourself with Rocky helmet. Uh, Iron Treads fainted from the Rocky helmet damage? Damn! He didn't faint, he's just running away. What happened now? Find the Quaking Earth Titan. Oh, he's just over there. But I gotta heal up. Okay, I am ready yet again. I healed everybody up and one of um Corvus's old moves that I could te re uh, reteach him, even though he didn't actually learn in the first place, is Iron Defense. So I think with now, I'm gonna go right with him. I'm just gonna Iron Defense up and just let him hit me until he takes himself out again, hopefully. The, the Titan Iron Treads began eating something. Oh, what level is your Pokemon? Because that'll actually give me a good estimate on where what level this guy is. Stone, looks like you found yourself a Titan. Wait, that's the Quaking Earth Titan, huh? Is is that thing even a Pokemon? It must be trying to get pumped up with that little snack. Time to show that thing what you and me can do, Stone. So we're finally learning more about the Great Crater and where the, like certain beings come from. Oh, all metal. So are all the futuristic Pokemon going to be like electric steel type? It's because metal of the, f everything's made out of metal. Everything's robots. Whoa, he has a skill villain level 44. So we're right on par with this thing, kind of. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm just iron defensing. Hopefully I'm faster. You're a big boy after all. I'm going to use the skill villain I caught nearby to seize a real spicy victory. This is going to burn. Oh, you actually have fire type moves, yay. What happens if he goes down now? Oh no, he got flinched. You're supposed to want to hit me. Boy. Come on, over here. Over here now. But hopefully you get to hit. Oh no, he flinched you, I think you said. Dang it. Nothing's really effective though. Um, should I just keep using iron defense and see what happens? Oh, he's just gonna keep aiming for the skull villain. 
Don't flinch this time. Oh, nice. He has Fire Fang. Please burn. No burn. Okay, no burn. Well, that's my second Iron Defense. One more Iron Defense, and then I'm going to start smacking it. Then I can even go for... Maybe I'll go for a Home Claws first, so my Steel Wings won't miss. Does Steel Wing have a chance to up attack, or is that just Metal Claw? Oh, boy. Goodbye, Skull Villain. You did your best. You did great. Okay, there's the third Iron Defense up. We are a tank now of a bird. We're the tankiest bird you've ever seen. Like an AC-130. I don't think those are tanky, but that's the biggest plane I think I can think of that I know. Nice. Attacks up now. You tried to hit me. This is going to be a grueling fight, I bet. Yeah, what is your extra property? This may also boost your defense. Too bad my defense is already boosted sky high. Um, should I just drill peck you then? Because you're going to resist them both. But I think Drill Peck is the higher base damage anyway. So yeah. Whoa, that didn't even... That did like one damage, I think. I mean, I didn't see, but it didn't even look like it moved. Okay, there you go. Rocky Helmet damage. Oh, the Drill Peck's actually doing a little bit of something. We're getting you down. We're getting you down. You're going to have to be all the way fainted. That did like three damage. Yeah, go ahead. Be as fast as you want. You ain't doing any damage to me. Especially if all you're using is rapid spin. Even if you get a crit, it's probably still not even going to do that much damage. Iron Head. Don't flinch me, though. That just makes this take even longer. And? Hey, I hit you. Okay. Maybe one more of this old merry-go-round. One more revolution. I know you like going in circles, but we've gone in enough circles. I think. But, what? ah, man. I guess he's going to take himself out again like he did last time. You never learned your lesson, did you there, old man? Oh, no, he didn't quite take himself out. But he knocked me off instead of trying to flinch me with Iron Head, so goodbye. It looks like when he takes damage, those treads aren't even attached. It's like magnets. Oh, and then he rolls up into a ball. Oh, he's actually kind of cutesy when he does that. I feel bad now. Titan Iron Treads. Nice. I like how we're taking out every Titan with, like, a different poke. This is all cool. Everybody's level 43. We're looking great. I can't believe it. That guy's like right on par with us. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done him third. Maybe the other guy I should have done. There's a dragon one now, and then there's another one someplace over to the right side, the east side. Yes, nice going, little buddy. Why do you keep calling me little buddy? I know everybody's giant, like bigger than me, but sheesh. What even was that thing, though? I kind of feel like maybe I've seen it before somewhere. Did you, though? Or do you just think it resembles something that's also around this desert, like all over the place? Anyway, I bet if we head inside here, we'll find more of that Herba Mystica I, it was eating. Let's give the place a once-over before that thing decides to come back. Nice, will do. I wonder what color is this one going to be. I bet orange or red. I'm feeling red or orange. They're probably also going to use blue and maybe purple. I'm sure there's some here, too. There's a great ball right there. Wait a second. What does that mean? Aha! I should definitely be able to come back in these caves. It's yellow! I was not even close. I mean, orange, maybe, kind of? But it's, it ain't orange. I knew it! I spy Herba Mystica! It's literally blinding my retinas as I speak. Can I back up? <laughs> sour Herba Mystica. Ooh, I bet that tastes great. I love sour flavors. What does this do for your body, though? Another successful search. We're on a roll. Wow. Just like the Dawn fan. Now then, let's see. What does the book have to say? Okay, Sour Herba Mystica is chock full of nutrients and is great for boosting your overall health. Says here it works wonders whether you're tired physically or mentally. Perks you right up. Nice. A little mental boost. I never hurt nobody. Maybe that's why I like that sour things. I like making my brain blast. Even though it's mostly shut off most of the time. Why won't you help me, Bray? This'll definitely help Mass Boss to feel even better. But first, you gotta make them sandwiches. Come on, Stone, let's get some food going. Are you gonna play karate with it? Or do karate on it? You gonna drop an elbow? Yar! Yar! Watcha! Damn, you gave it to it. Sorry to keep you waiting. Here you go, another of your favorite old Arvin sandwiches. And it comes with a special Titan badge. The Pokemon League might not recognize it, but I hope you appreciate it all the same. I do, it's going up on my layup. Or my layout. Layup. We're not playing basketball. We got the ground one. Yes, and this one actually looks kind of good, I guess. There's, As long as it's not gritty and there's sand in it. A sour sandwich? I don't know. It might work. 
it might very much work. Savory and sweet go together. Savory and sour might go together. Maybe not, though, now that I say that out loud. Gaius, here's your sandwich. I was just holding it, keeping it warm for you. Are you actually warming up to us now? It looks like it. Figured this might happen. Don't worry. I made extra this time for that brood of yours. But he always wants mine. Why don't you give him the extra one you made? Okay, I'll share. Here you go. I'll always share with you, buddy. Anytime. What ability are you going to gain, though? Come on out, Mouse Boss Stiff. Got some for you, too, bud. What's up with that great ball just laying there on the floor? Hello, Mouse Boss Stiff. Is he going to look even better now after he eats some of this? Is he going to actually be able to stand on, like, his two front legs? Nice. He's eating. Feel better, buddy. That's it. Small bites. Small bites. Meanwhile, he doesn't even eat us for some reason. Chomp, chomp, snarf, chomp. Loving it. Oh, there he goes. I do like that animation. It's really cool. Right on. We'll be able to glide now. Hell yeah. Come on. At least bother to taste it before you swallow it right down, would you? A guy. This brute seems to be benefiting from the herbs, too. I guess in its own sort of way. It's learning to need, do new things. They're learning to regain the abilities. Because in the beginning of the game, it obviously knew how to glide. But then it fell near the ocean onto a beach. And then got attacked by something. Oh, yeah. Before I forget, Stone, take another look at this. There's always a Titan Pokemon near the Herb of Mystica when we find them, right? Like the book says, it's not like big old Pokemon just happen to like these herbs. It's actually something in the herb that makes the Titan so big and strong. So does that mean a Titan's lair isn't really some kind of treasure hoard or whatever? It's just a pantry where the Titan keeps its food? Oh, you done with your sandwich, Mess Bostiff? Looks like it. Oh, he's trying to stand up. Looks like he's getting a little more strength. Ruff, ruff Uh, you... You heard that, right, Stone? Mess Bostiff just whooped, right? Yeah. It counts. Right, I'm not imagining things. Oh, and he's trying to do push-ups. Oh, this is great. See, see that? I knew I wasn't just hearing things. Oh, my boss, Stiff. Who's my best bud, huh? Who's the best of boys? You are. Yes, you are. <laughs> I love this so much. This is great. It's, it's been so long since I heard that wolf. Oh, it's, it's such a happy moment. My boss, Stiff, is definitely getting better. Ever since I teamed up with you, good things keep happening. But we've still got two more herbs to go. Hope you'll stick it out until you're done. We're done. A Gaia. Oh, push-ups. But the one we can't do for a while, because it's in the middle of that lake that everybody's level 50 around, and then there's he's, he's on the island, and he's a dragon type, so he's got to be strong. Roto-to-to-to-to. I bet it's the professor again. Hello, professor. Hello, Stone. This is Churo. I detect that Maridon has regained more of its original power. After it has jumped into the air, you should try pressing the B button again. It should glide now. Press the B button when you're in the air and Maridon will glide for you. If you press the B button once more, you'll stop gliding and immediately start falling. Yay, falling. Please continue to take care of Maridon. I will. I love how your messages are short and sweet. Oh, man. Okay, so wait. Let me see this. If if you shorten pants... What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, kid that wants to battle in these sands. I didn't come this directly over into the sands because I didn't know if the guy would want to attack me or not. But we are finding items here. And I do want to try out to see how well this works. So, we are going fast and we are gliding. Nice! I can't wait to try it out later, though, when we're on top of mountains and such. But yes, that's my favorite. We have the ability to glide. It's so cool. Terrastalize Cyclozar. I know you can find Cyclozar in the desert. Wait, let's do one of these, then. I want to go fast. Wait, let's go fast. We're going to go fast. We're going to go off this little jump here. And then we're going to jump. And then we're going to glide. Oh, hells yeah. This is sick. Oh no, we're glad we're having a happy moment, but we're gliding into the direction. That's right, where Eddie fainted. No, by a vavroom, a vavaroom. Oh, I feel like we're starting to drop real quick all of a sudden. Oh, I made it though. Nice. And there's a road, Tom, and we're looking out to see, remembering Eddie. We're having good times. We've accomplished a lot, and we're also honoring the the past. So yes, 
Very good. Zoomers in. There we are. So yeah, we have done... This was a very accomplished day. I feel good. We finally did the Titans and not only one, but three. Holy snap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get it. So I do hope you enjoyed. I know I sure did. And if you did, remember these three things. You're beautiful. I appreciate you and have a great one. Bye-bye. Uh,